Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is The Loyal. Episode, ooh, uh, well, I don't remember how many you know episodes, but the point here is that it is the mid-season, season 8 episode, so we are at the mid-season of season 8. There you go. Let's get in here. Because we have to start by looking at the transfers that we did. Um, I know some of them are kind of hidden behind me here. Let me see if I can fix that up for a second. Just a sec. Uh, there's a ditch. Let's just pull me across here a little bit. How about that? And uh, now you can see what we've done. And so, let's have a look at them. Uh, first thing we brought in, um, and I'm on last year's um, transfers because I got all these done before the end of last season effectively. Um, Philip Kovac came in, uh, an 18 year old Czech forward. I think he's going to be an absolutely outstanding player. Uh, right now he's on loan at Victoria Pilsen. He's, he's excellent. He's just truly excellent. Um, it's just going to be a matter of time before we have him back, but I, I loaned him out because I kind of bought too many forwards. So Kovac was one. Um, we also bought, as far as forwards, Ramiro Miguez, who is quite decent. 18 finishing, 17 flair. He's, he hasn't really opened up yet at uh, loyal, but he's he's coming along, and I think he's going to be very useful. Um, we'll see how that goes. So that's two forwards I brought in. You'll notice. Um, we also got Nohan Kenne, a Liberian who is playing defensive midfielder for us, um, but can also play centre back if we need him to. He's uh, he's effective. He's tall. He's strong. His physicals are amazing. So, yeah, excellent player. We're really happy with him. And Tadoris Karaferis, who is actually American, so I'm not too worried about him being sounding too Greek sounding, but I mean, he's obviously Greek, but anyway, never mind. He's uh, just a youth prospect, somebody young that I thought would come in and, and possibly do a job for us in the long run. Um, he is a promising midfielder, drives killer balls off and that kind of thing. It's, uh, he's got to work on a lot of things yet. He's only 17, but um, I think he's going to be one for the future. And Jesus Castro, the last one of the early imports, is a 20-year-old. And he is a wonder kid, model citizen, wonder kid. I mean, you couldn't ask for better. He's he's excellent. He's truly excellent, um, and has been very useful to us already. That's it for that part of the of the ends. Let's have another look. You'll notice that we got another forward, Guillermo Ruiz. He's on loan. <coughs> he's Colombian, um, and as you can see, just quite an amazing player. He's on loan from Chelsea. Uh, he's worth 35 million euros, so that's rather nice. Um, in the sense that, you know, we've got a very good player on um, on loan. So I'm ha very happy with him. And our last purchase this summer was Theo from uh, France, who came in and he has become our main um, playmaker. As you can see, he's not the most mobile fella in the world, but he is really quite good at this football thing. Um, so, you know, 17 vision, 15 passing, 17 flair. He's going to get the ball where you want him to, when you, when you want him to. Tries long range passes. He certainly does, and he's very good at it. So he's also scored a surprising number of goals. Um, yeah, he scored five goals already in the in the Premier League, as well as two more in the Champions League. So I don't know, crazy. 
what that has meant, let's organize this by position, and I think it will show the problem more clearly, um, is that here are my strikers. Uh, we have Ruiz, Rubin, Britt, Bennett, Miguez, and Pino. Yes, that's right, I have six strikers. <laughs> and um, they're all fighting for time together, and it's not easy to accommodate that many. Um, as you can see, Reese Britt and Ken Bennett have been tearing things up a little bit. Um, that's because I've been playing them in, in some of the, or Ken Bennett particularly, has been playing in some of the easier games. Um, just to try and get him time to play. He's got nine goals in the Champions League, three goals in the Premier League, um, and one in the Cup. So, yeah, he's done fairly well. He's also bagged 17 non-competitive goals already this year. And he is a fan favorite. A he is loved by the fans, this guy. Um, so you have to, you have to think about um, about whether or not he's going to, for instance, get called up for, for the U.S. Um, favorite personnel, me, Rubio Rubin. So hooray for that. Um, and there you go. Uh, that's all for that. Uh, I just wanted to show you him. So I'm trying, as you can see, to get them all time, but it's not easy. Um, I've been playing Ruiz as a shadow striker. Um, behind Britton Bennett, and then sometimes behind Miguez and Pino. But as you can see, I'm not doing a great job of keeping them happy. Miguez is peeved because he doesn't feel he's getting enough playing time. He's gotten 1180 minutes, which makes him the second most used forward we've got, and he's not happy about it. What can I do? So we've had some, we've had some minor revolts. Um, little problems, um, mostly internal. Ramiro Meguez has been complaining about wanting to start more games. Pantea has been complaining about wanting a new deal. I told him to get out one at the end of the season. He said that wasn't good enough. I said tough. And that's pretty much where we're at. Equala wants to start more games. The only person agreeing with him is Pantea, uh, is, is Pantea who's the other malcontent. So yeah, that's that. Um, I will actually take a second and look at the outs. I forgot to have a quick peek at the outs. Um, yes, here we go. Visayo Deli Basher started kicking up a fuss about various things. I brought in, when I brought in somebody, he just lost his mind and went, oh my god, they're going to replace me. They're coming to replace me. They're coming to replace me. Ah! So I, I just got rid of him. Um, I, I just I couldn't be bothered to put up with his crap. And other than that, it's largely been loans out. Um, and as you can see, not only do we have the six forwards that I brought in, but we also still have Austin Vega making seven forwards. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, Richie Leeds is also a forward. And that makes eight. Uh, oh gosh, so is Jono. He's, he's another forward. That's nine. We have a lot of forwards. Um, just, just a lot of forwards, <laughs> and oops, that's okay. It'll, it'll sort itself out. We'll find a home for these guys, and uh, and things will come together. So you're asking yourself, what am I missing? Oh, I know what we're missing. We haven't looked at the league yet. So here we are at the halfway point of the season. We are in fourth place which is not too bad. We're 12 points out of first place, which isn't too good, but we're only three points out of second place, which isn't too bad. Um, we've been slugging it out pretty hard with, um, with New York City and Seattle particularly. New England has been a tough opponent, Kansas City. Um, we've only lost four matches. New York City, New York, Los Angeles, Kansas City. Los Angeles and Kansas City, those are both just really unfortunate losses. Um, let me have a look at the schedule here for a second. You'll see that they came back to back. And the reason for it, if you look at this lineup, is that I was 
gutted by internationals. We started anybody that we could get our hands on, like literally anybody we could get our hands on. It was crazy. And then um, the same thing happened for the LA match. We, so we lost 4-1 to Kansas City, and then we lost 2-1 to, to LA, despite their having somebody sent off. And yeah, just really frustrating. But again, you can see that the makeshift nature of the team, Ivan Flores is a 16 year old left back. Um, he was the only left back we had working at the club, like not injured. And Scuzzato, this is the only game he's played this year. Uh, Rubio Rubin got into the game. So everybody was in there from from sort of the backups. <clears throat> so yeah, those are two of the games that we lost. It was because of international call-ups and there was nothing we could do about it. Um, New York, we should have beaten. We just didn't, unfortunate, but there it is. Um, you can see we played very well. We just didn't get the win. And f as far as the Champions League is concerned, competitions, NACL, things have gone very well. Uh, we beat Portmore United away 4-0, Tauro 3-1, Herediano 3-0 away, 8-0 over Tauro away, 4-0 over Portmore, Portmore away, and Herediano 2-0. What that means is that in the Champions League we've conceded one goal in six matches and as a result we are on top with 18 points 24 goals for one goal against and we are definitely moving on to the next round um, so that's good we're happy with that I don't think we've picked up the next round yet uh, I don't have it. oh it has been scheduled okay sorry uh, we are playing marathon from Honduras that should be an interesting match I think we should be able to take them but it'll be a challenge um, looks like the other US teams have gotten through New England Seattle LA and us so all the all the US teams have made it through so far but all the Mexican teams have made it through however Tigres and Pumas are playing each other so that's good that'll knock out one of the Mexican teams and either Chivas or Los Angeles will get knocked out, so that's another good one for us. Um, yeah, I think this is going quite well uh, overall. So, um, that's how that's been going. Let's see what else we've got. United States FA Cup, we're in the third round. We've got Minnesota United. We seem to play them a lot in the Cup. It's kind of an interesting thing, um, but that's not here nor there. United States League Cup, we're playing New York City Academy in the next round, which is the fourth round. It's coming up. We are, of course, during the World Cup right now. Um, oh, no, we're not. Uh, that's the other save. Sorry, never mind. Getting confused. Because um, they're in 2022. We're in 2028. There's no World Cup. Never mind. And yeah, that's how things have been going. I'm, I'm very happy with how things have been going. Um, can we catch up LA to defend our title? I don't know. I really don't know. But I think we can finish in the top five places and make the board happy. Um, I did want to show you one other thing here. Let me just show you this. I am a legend at the club. Reese Britt, Rubio Rubin, Ken Bennett, now you can see why I'm not getting rid of these guys, and Joseph Greenspan, who's long since gone from the club. But, of course, three of our forwards are fan icons. So, yes, yes, that's, that's what things are. That's what things are. And somewhere there's, there's something somewhere that points out that he is um, oh, is that a little weird? 
Okay. Long-term plans would prefer not to play for Chicago. Favored clubs. Chicago. Supporter. So he's a supporter of Chicago, but he'd prefer not to play for them. That's a little odd. He's played for them before. That's where he started out. How interesting. So he's a support. He started off at the club he's a supporter of. Then we bought him on a free. Wow. Anyway, he's turned into a great player for us, and I'm really happy to have him. So, yay that. Um, trying to think if there's much else to look at. Stats. We could have a quick look at the stats and see how we're doing in terms of, um, you know, leading the, the leagues and things like that. So, let's have a look at that. Uh, where would I find that? That would be off competitions. Nice six Premier League stats, team player. There we go. Look at that. Most goals. Alvarez sixteen. We don't have a player on the top ten because of course we don't. We have like thirty seven forwards. It's very hard for any of them to get enough scoring time to actually have a chance at beating the league. Um yes. it's just as simple as that really. Um, most assists, doesn't look like we got anybody here either. Nope. Player of the match? Reese Britt, San Diego has four of them. Well, that's good. Anybody on the, on the top shots? Nope. So, as you can see, we're not really anywhere as far as the stats are concerned from the player point of view. From the, um, from the team's point of view, we're still not on anything. Um, we're <laughs> we're eighth in most goals. Um, with twenty seven, LA has twice as many. That's not pretty. But overall, I'm happy with how things are going. I'm I'm really happy with how things are going. It's still fun to play, and um, yeah, it's it's good. It's a good save. It's a good, um, what do you call it? Good save. Good save. Got a few too many players. Gonna have to clear out at the end of this season. But um, that's okay. We can do that and, and still maintain our challenge. I think it's gonna go well. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. I don't really have anything more to add. I hope that you have enjoyed the episode. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and take care.